Welcome back to mining.com.au. Joining me is the CEO of Antares Metal, Johan Lambrich. Johan, it's great to see you again. How are you? Hello, Shay. Uh, I'm good, thank you, and thanks for having me once again. Uh, another day, another high-grade uranium prospect has been found on your projects up in Queensland. I believe this one is called B8A. Can you talk us through the details of this latest discovery? Yes, B8A is the new or the latest discovery of a, of a series, I suppose. Uh, it sits on the southeastern side of our tenure. Um, and it's given us uh, surface U308 results of up to 1700 ppm. So um, very, very prospective. Uh, it dives or the mineralization goes below cover uh, to both ends, north and south. There's uh, creeks that uh, sort of cut it off, which we interpret to be structures. Um, but a lot of work still to be done. The grades are good um, and it's a, it's a clear target for us. Uh, in the same announcement, which was uh, released this week, we also speak of uh, um, uh, Tijilpa and uh, uh, Montebello. They are not far immediately down, stri uh, down strike from uh, Valhalla, a few kilometers. So they share the same geology in the same regional area. Um, so very excited by the work we're doing. I certainly am. Now, just throwing back to something I learned during our webinar that we recorded a little over a month ago now, uh, that sometimes uranium bearing rocks at surface make a ping sound when you crack them open. The uranium bearing uh, rocks that you found for this prospect, do these ones make a ping sound? They do. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, they're really hard. It, it is the same um, albertite style structurally controlled mineralization. And yes, because of that albertite mineral, um, they are very hard and they do ping, yes. <laughs> I will uh, never let that little fact go. It brings me great joy to tell it at barbecues these days. Now, I wouldn't mind drawing everybody's attention to uh, the number of prospects that you've gotten, sort of the approach you've taken this year. Now, I know this is your first uh, full field season out on the ground. Uh, and just to borrow a quote from you, that you, something you said to me off camera was, the ground is too good to only look at one or two things. So why have you taken this approach? Because you, you've got a lot of prospects that you've been investigating. Yeah, thanks. The, this is very important, I think, to uh, the general shareholding, uh, share buying public, but for our shareholders as well. Yes, our first season and yes, our ground is really prospective, both for uranium and copper. So what we are doing during this first season is to to physically visit and ground truth and investigate as many of the prospects as we can. Because realistically, how else are we going to um, evaluate them and rank them? And the idea is to, to have a, a very good idea of as many prospects as we can now during our first season early on in the game. So that in the next season, because this current season is coming to an end in the next month or two, um, we have a much smaller se a, a, a sequence or series of, of prospects and a much closer target range, if you want to call it that. Then instead of going to all of them, we can focus and, and that's crucial, but that's just general exploration also. Um, what, what I want to do is build our house on stone. I need the foundations of the work we do going forward to be sturdy, to be solid and, and in the exploration world, that means get boots on the ground, see the rocks, break them here if they ping or not, and then move forward. Um, so that's sort of the strategy for this year. It's not it's not a scattergun approach. It is it is very sequential. It is very purposeful, so that we can identify, rank, and move forward. That's that's the plan. Uh, there's only a few months left of this year, and I know the wet season is fast approaching in the northern part of Queensland. Uh, I believe you're about to be out on site again as of next week. Uh, tell me, what moves are you going to be make when you're out uh, exploring in the field, and will there be more rocks that go ping? Um, there will, because I won't be there personally, but the um, uh, we will be looking at both uranium and copper prospects. I suppose that's another important aspect to mention. We we are prospective, or the ground is prospective for both copper and uranium, which which is also why we've we've not only been looking at several uranium prospects, but earlier in the year we were doing the same for copper, and it's for exactly the same reason. 
there was a bit of a focus on surprise with all the drilling, but there's there's plenty of extremely uh, uh, um, prospective copper targets, and we're doing the same there. So, yep, we'll be in the field as of next week, uh, looking at both uranium and copper. Um, we'll be going back to B8A, actually, spend some time there, do some some proper structural mapping and, and uh, understanding it better, because it might actually be, I believe, as a matter of fact, it is a drill target with those, with those grades that we've identified uh, during the announcement. Um, absolutely. Uh, the way you would know whether there's anything at, at depth is to drill it. So, um, uh, we, we will be in the field and there's more, there's more, you know, uranium and copper announcements coming. Uh, well, I'm very looking forward to those future announcements as well as photos. You've taken some great photos of your uh, program this year. So I look forward to more rocks coming through. Uh, listen, everyone, thank you so much for being here today. And I look forward to speaking with you next time. Lovely. Thank you very much, Shane. A great day to yourself. <laughs>